Hi everyone, sorry it took me so long to uh, make a video, but I've been pretty busy and um, and I've been making lots of stuff. So, and I've been trying to package everything up too as I make everything because my sister and I are having a going to this flea market kind of thing in our city here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But today I want to show you how to make um, something really different. It's actually really not that different because it uses all kinds of beads. So this is perfect for, say, like you have beads, you just don't know what you want to do with them. Um, you have no use for them. You can't incorporate them in anything. So let me show you what you can do with all your beads. I know, doesn't this, ouch, needles. Doesn't this look like a hogwash full of bunch of stuff? So what I want to teach you today is I'm going to teach you how to make three different kinds of awareness bracelets. And I'll probably have to do it in two videos because this is going to take a bit just to show you um, what exactly I've been, been doing here. Anyway, first of all, let me show you um, one kind. The, the third kind that I plan on showing you how to make, I haven't got any made yet because I just didn't have time. But after today, I'm going to work on those. My favorite one I've been making a lot of is um, these ones out of memory wire. And I want to show you what I mean by memory wire. I put a closure on it. Let me zoom in so you can see. And I know that you can see. One second. Okay, I'm up close. I made this with blue lampwork beads. Um, too close. Back up a bit. And I used blue crystals. I put an extender chain because this is memory wire. Again, this can be used on anybody's wrist. But the reason I put closure on here is because these are going to be so versatile and they're going to fit almost every wrist imaginable. Because if you put a piece of extender chain on it, you can do your closure up anywhere on that piece of extender chain here. So this is why I stuck these on the end. And also it will prevent you from snagging your bracelet and losing it because some people have lost. I made my brother uh, a bracelet and it kept falling off him until I put a closure on for him. So these are blue lampwork beads and what I mean by awareness bracelets, I've gotten little packages here where I've written um, things on the packages showing you what um, different uh, ribbons mean. So for example these blue ones they mean um, ARDS which is um, what the heck does that mean <coughs> acute respiratory something like that they also represent drunk driving osteogenesis uh, dystonia acute respiratory distress syndrome that's what ARDS is so anyways I've been using all kinds of my beads I just have no use for so like these big huge beautiful lamp work beads have blue and green and but I, I my main focus on this was to be in the blues again I used um, blue crystals and some they look like blue dragon eggs these ones here I didn't know what to do with them so I incorporated them into an awareness bracelet as well so what I did is I packaged up every single bracelet and priced it so these ones here, I put my, my logo on it. I don't know if you can see that. This is my logo. And this is what took so long. This bracelet here, um, I made this bracelet off of Off the Beaded Paths pattern. This was her pattern that I made some time ago, actually. And I made a whole bunch of these in different colors. And I put the... Um, awareness ribbon and I also stuck a little leaf I hate to open this package but you can see the awareness ribbon and the little leaf hanging off so they are kind of cute so this is the blue package of um, awareness ribbons and I mean awareness doesn't distinctly mean cancer of all these ribbons they have all kinds of meanings like I only wrote down a few I didn't write down every single thing that blue represents I, I wrote down the main ones, things that we're all going to be familiar with. So again, there's there's the uh, memory wire one. And this one here, I'm going to show you how to make this today too. And here's one, again, made out of some really pretty crystal um, 
lamp work beads and a big huge extender chain. <laughs> I just thought it was different so it was cute. And then we've got some teal and teal again is ovarian cancer, sexual assault, polycystic ovarian syndrome and tsunami victims. So this is what the teal color represents. And if you're going to make these and sell them at a flea market or craft sale or wherever it is you go, um, it's best to write down, like, I just wrote down on the bags because I have everything in bags. Again, there's the teal. So just, it's a good idea to write everything down, what they represent, so people uh, that don't know what all the ribbons mean. These are made with turquoise beads. These are gemstone beads, and they're opals in, in there as well, so... That's uh, a bit of uh, color. And then we have purple. And I haven't made up the bag for the purple yet. So this is like a dark purple. And it's all made with rondelles and uh, daisy spacers. Here's another one of Kelly Dale's um, designs that I incorporated into a awareness bracelet as well and hung off the leaf in the awareness ribbon. And then we've got little purple hearts. See, these are beads I just don't know what I would do with, so I made awareness ribbon bracelets with them. Now, my mom had, my mom's passed away now, but she, she had some illnesses, and her main illness was heart disease and kidney disease. And her kidneys kept failing on her, she ended up going for dialysis, but every time she she knew about she loved all my jewelry I made but I made her a ton of these green bracelets because these green bracelets represented um, her kidney disease and also uh, kidney cancer missing children organ donations and childhood depression so like I said green doesn't just mean cancer or the colors don't just mean cancer and this one here I made all different kinds. Uh, the one that I don't have made is the ones that I always made. My mom was her favorite. So, but I'll get to that in a minute. And there's green ones. And I just used up beads that I know I'm never going to use. I, I just don't know what to use. These are also um, emerald uh, gemstone beads in here. You can see them. And I'm only charging $10 for these bracelets. They didn't take a lot of beads and they didn't take a lot of... Um, supplies so cheap 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 now we have brown got I had some really pretty beads I don't know if you could see those brown ones but they were really pretty beads and we got brown crystals and we have more brown sort of different and these are all the brown beads made. I've got some spacers in here. I'm going to show you how you do all that. And also Kelly Dale's pattern. This is kind of like a coppery color. And there's the awareness. And these are on toggles. We've got, we've got some orange. Um, orange has some meanings too. We, orange means uh, leukemia, hunger, culture diversity, human treatment of animals, and self-injury. So I just wrote down main things that these mean. So there's orange ones. And then we have a white, which I don't know what this represents. I forget. I haven't written it down. And I've got three millimeter, um, they're like stardust beads in the middle of white pearls. And we have some black. And I'm pretty sure you probably all know what black means. It means melanoma. Uh, when someone's mourning and gang prevention. So this that's just a few of what the black represents. And I thought these were the coolest lampwork beads. I had these big honker and... Um, rondelles in black in the clear so I used them in this bracelet I made it kind of like animal sort of animal print of some kind zebra 
and these are just black crystals with daisy spacers. These are uh, some fire polish and some crystals and daisy spacers. Fire polish in the six millimeter. And again, this. I mean, they've got they uh, they've got sort of like the same beads in in a lot of them, but they're all different. They're not all the same. I don't think I made a single one of them the same. So that's the black. And then we have yellow, which is bladder cancer, suicide prevention, spina bifida, endometriosis, and support our troops, and a symbol of hope. So that's what yellow is. So we have this really pretty one. And we've got a couple of more here. I thought this one was really cool. Those big spacers in the middle. So there's yellow. Now for red, red and pink seem to be the main two ones that people want the most of. One is strictly heart disease, HIV, mothers against drunk driving, and stroke. This is what red represents. So I made quite a few red ones. As you can clearly see, there's quite a few red. Red and white. And I made that into an awareness. But, but my favorite one is this. One right here. Have a look at this. So on this one here is made out of memory wire. And one day I'm going to get to showing you how to make um, three strand memory wire like these. They're so easy to make. And this just clips on. So it's absolutely a beautiful red bracelet. But on the end of this bracelet, as I, I mentioned, this is an awareness bracelet because it's done in um, all reds, crystals. I put a red crystal heart at the end of this. There's a charm heart and a different charm heart. And then over here, I put a red ribbon. So there's the red awareness ribbon. I put a plain silver plated ribbon and a rose. And this is like um, a resin rose. It's, it's quite hard in the middle between the two uh, uh, ribbons. This is my favorite. It did take a lot of Swarovski crystals, but it's just beautiful. And it sparkles. And I used crystal spacers in the middle. These are not Swarovskis in the middle. These three bar spacers. <coughs> so this is what that one looks like. It's very pretty. And now let's get to the last. So this is all the memory wire bracelets and I really made a lot of them because I think that's what's going to sell the most and that's basically the most requested because these are easy on and easy off so let me get to the pink ones now the pink ones are the main um, ones that will sell the most because they're the breast cancer ones and this is how I've done them. But these are not made with the memory wire. These are made with beading wire. And they're made to length. And they come apart like this. So they're made to... They're fitted. And on the end of these, I hung the pink ribbon and also a pink Shrosky crystal heart. So I'm going to show you how to make this kind the memory wire kind and there's another one I thought I'd show you it's again different design altogether they're not the same this is actually a lighter pink we're gonna I'm gonna use a darker pink so you can see it in the camera so there's the pink and these are all done with beading wire, nylon beading wire. So it's um, nylon, nylon coated beading wire. And I think this is seven strand or 14 strand, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's seven strand. But I will show you how to make that. It's quick and easy. You'll see how fast these go. 
And you know what? When you make your jewelry and you store it and you don't sell it right away, get it packaged up and sealed right away. Because these have been sitting, oh, a year now. Can you see that? They're not tarnished. There's no air getting to these. And they're sealed. As long as you seal your packages, you will never have to clean anything. Yeah, these have been sitting because my mom, my mom's almost been gone for almost a year. So, and I made a lot of these pink ones because she wanted to take them to Dialis and sell them. So I made her pink and I made her green ones. And I will package those back up. I just took those ones out of the package so I can show you. And I will repackage them. And same with this one. Now, for something like this, I've got it priced at $40. Only because of all the crystals in here. There's a lot of crystals in here. But this was fun to make. Really, really fun. And I think you guys will enjoy making that. So let me get my mess put away. Let me get my stuff all spread out here. And I'll tell you what you need for each bracelet. So we're going to make the complicated one first, which will be the one out of the wire like this. So I'll let you know what you need for material and I'll be right back. Okay, so what you're going to need for this kind of bracelet is some tiger tail, or you can use some beading wire. I'm just going to use some tiger tail. You're, I'm going to use pearls, and they are in the pink color that you need for breast cancer. There, I'm going to use some four millimeter uh, silver plated beads here. These are six millimeter Swarovski bicone crystals, four millimeter bicone crystals, a lobster clasp. You're going to need, this is a closed jump ring and it's a six millimeter closed jump ring. This is a five millimeter open jump ring. You're going to need two uh, crimp beads, two wire protectors, an awareness ribbon. I'm going to use pink and I'm going to use these bead caps on my pearls when I string them on. So what you want to do first, also you're going to need your basic tools. Okay, is cut myself a piece of tiger tail. And tiger tail is a nylon coated steel wire. So it's, you can see it's kind of, once it gets bent in a spot, it will stay like that. So. I'm going to cut that off. Let me get my lighting fixed a little bit here. All right, I'm going to move everything out of the way so I have room to work. <coughs> All right, now let me cut a piece of this. So let me cut this off first, get some glasses on. Trim this off here because that is bent. And I'm going to cut Oh, good. Wrap it around my wrist and see if it fits. Yeah. So I'm going to just cut off about 10 inches in approximately. Probably going to waste a lot, but you can't add on to this wire. And the first thing you're going to do is let me get situated here. And bring this up a little bit is take one end of your wire and put a crimp bead on it like so then you're going to take your wire protector and you're going to put it on one end like that now I'm going to, you can put your lobster clasp on, or you can put your, um, okay, let me just do this. And this wire protector isn't going to fit in the hole of that lobster clasp, so one sec. Okay, so let's put our crimp bead back on, like so. And you're going, I got my lobster clasp a new one on there. So you're going to run your beading wire through one end of your lobster clasp 
and through the hole of your lobster cloth, I mean, through the wire protector. And I'm going to kind of pinch that just so it doesn't fall off. Put your um, beading wire through the other end of your wire protector like that. I don't know if you can see it, but we really don't need that much. So, so it's like this and it's sitting in the groove here. You don't have to use a wire protector, but I use them just because it makes your bracelet last longer because this is where it takes a lot of wear and tear is in here. So I've got my crimp bead on there and I got it over both pieces of the wire. So now I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to squish that crimp bead. And I kind of went a little crooked with the crimp bead, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, it's not going to really be not that noticeable, but it is in there good and snug. Now, this is where you're going to build on this, and you're going to build a design. So you're just going to put whatever beads you want on. So first off, I'm going to stick a ball bead, 4 millimeter. And you make sure you leave your a little bit of a tail like this and just string your ball bead over that like that. Okay. Oh, and you know what else I want to use? Maybe some daisy spacers in here. So let me grab some daisy spacers. I thought I had everything out, but I guess I didn't. So let me get a few of these out. Sorry about that. And we'll put some on my table here. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a daisy spacer. I'm going to pick up a six millimeter crystal and a daisy spacer. And making sure I put these beads over top of that piece that's hanging down like that. So this is what I have so far. Now I'm going to take a four millimeter and put that on four millimeter pink crystal. You can build whatever kind of design you want, how you want with whatever beads you want. And we have that. Now I'm going to use a bead cap and I'm going to use an 8 millimeter pearl and then I'm going to put another bead cap on. If I can, like so. And making sure this goes in the hole, in there, like so. So this is going to be like a kind of a, a really dainty bracelet. So if you wanted to, you can probably trim this down a bit. So I'm going to trim this down. Because it's kind of getting in my way of the daisy spacers. <coughs> so take some of that off. And try to hide it inside the 6mm, which worked, turned out perfectly. And like that. So now what I'll, all I'm going to do is repeat exactly what's here. So we're going to take a four millimeter, put it on the end here, and then we have a daisy spacer, and we have a six millimeter, we have a daisy spacer, and we have a ball. So that's one complete one section done and that's how I'm going to continue to do this whole bracelet till I get to roughly the length I need. With the lobster closure and this on here I would say you this isn't even really a whole inch 
It's about three quarters of an inch. It's not a very big lobster closure, so. I'm going to make this, so it's three quarters of an inch, so if I'm gonna make an eight inch bracelet, you need to do this part here in seven and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna build on this. And I will come back when I get to the length that I need. I'll be back. Okay. So what I've gone ahead and did, I wanted to end my bracelet on this side the same way here. If I would have added a whole entire section like this, this bracelet would have been too big. So what I've decided to do is I went and got, I have a whole package of extender chains. These are all extender chains. I bought these off of eBay. They're awesome. And I'm going to add an extender chain in this bracelet because this is definitely not going to fit for me. This is going to turn out to be about seven inches, seven and a quarter inches in this bracelet. And I don't want to change the pattern because I really like how this turned out. So I'm going to end it. So instead of using the closed jump ring, I am going to use um, this jump ring, a five millimeter, and I'm going to attach the extender chain, okay? So first thing you're going to do when you get to the end of your bracelet is you're going to pick up your piece, or your crimp, crimp bead, let it fall to there. And then you're going to pick up the other one of your wire protectors like that. Bring that through and go across into the next one and loop it around like that. Okay? And pull this down. Now before you pull this tight, you need to run this wire through that crimp bead at the bottom and through a bunch of these beads, making sure you don't miss any and you got a piece of wire sticking out. And I'm trying to keep my bracelet tight so it doesn't pull out on the other end because I want this to be fairly tight. So I'm going to come out of this four millimeter uh, Shirosky crystal here, maybe. And it doesn't want to go into the crystal. But we'll get her in there eventually. All right, we got it. Now what you're going to do is just pull this on your your uh, wire protector like that. Pull it nice and tight. Make sure your beads are all. Don't pull it so tight that you're going to warp it. That just keeps on getting snagged in there. There we go. So I'm going to leave it, hold it here, and pull it so it gets nice and snug. I don't want a lot of give left in here because we have the wire protector, so you don't want a big, huge gap in there. So don't cut this, this piece off yet until you close that crimp bead. So let me get my things here, my pliers, and pull this nice and tight. And then I'm going to give that crimp bead a squish and I'm going to lock it like so and close up this and squish it down good now you can take your flush cutters and you're good to go to cutting off your wire as close as possible to that bead and that's <coughs> for your bracelet part here now for this end here, we're going to open the, the jump ring. First, I want to shorten my wire protector a little wee bit because I'm finding it's way too, way too long. Really don't need it this long, so. And make sure your ends are closed completely. So I'm going to take two loops off of this. Like so. Alright. Now let's open this jump ring. 
add this on add your wire protector on and close the jump ring up and it's probably good practice and a good idea if you make a bracelet like this and you're going to sell these bracelets to make sure you add an extender chain just because it's really hard there could be a bigger lady, a smaller lady, super tiny lady and you might want to leave, like you're not using a whole lot of beads here so you won't be wasting a whole lot of beads is to put this extend, extender chain on now we're going to put our, um, our awareness ribbon on now you could put your awareness ribbon here or at the end of your extender chain and I think I'm going to put it at the end of the extender chain so let me get another five millimeter jump ring let's open this jump ring put our awareness ribbon on the jump ring and let's attach it to the extender chain and let's close this up nice and tight that's it take your lobster closure and now you can it'll fit just about anybody's wrist so there's one way of making um, an awareness a bracelet this is the most more complicated one I would say this is the more expensive one because it does take um, a lot of findings But you can't, I'm going to use the same thing on the memory wire as well. So. so for this to fit my wrist, I would have to do it up on the extender chain, which is fine with me. Do you want to see up close how pretty? And that's it. So I'll be back with the next group of supplies that you're going to need to make your memory wire one. And that one's super easy. I'll be back.